All right, it's Friday. Just got back from shopping. What did I get today? A bunch of stuff. A little bit of games. I spent $117 on everything that you see that I got here before me today. And to be honest, everything was a pretty good bargain. Uh, I, I definitely did not pay, overpay for anything. Um, I'm going to start with the games. You know, it's 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 really, uh, like, uh, to be honest, I didn't want to spend a lot of money this, this week, this weekend, right? Because I am getting nailed with the weather. See how beautiful the sky is today? Well, every day that I'm not trying to sell, that's how the sky's been. It's been, like, beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not a cloud. Yeah, there's some clouds. But not a rain cloud in the sky. Um, but this Saturday and Sunday, they're talking about rain. So, if you're looking for me this weekend, I could be... I'm not doing um, the Saturday market. Uh, I forget what that is. It's a nutly, actually. I just remember. AJ's going to be there if you, if you want to stop by, see AJ, and get some games. Meadowland is, Meadowlands is off this weekend. So for anybody who is going to go to the Meadowlands to find anybody, it's, it's, it's a closed market. Uh, Sunday, I'm shooting for Clifton Jubilee. So uh, that's where I'm going to be. Let me just get right into it. I'm going to start with the games. For the games, I went to... It's basically a clean-out guy. Uh, every once in a while, he'll just have a big sale, probably just to clean out and clear out some of the stuff he gets from lockers. Um, and he had a lot of stuff. I filmed it. And we were also we were talking about my showcase, play, showcase place uh, with him. He had had a showcase there uh, for a little bit, but then he got out. He, he, just, uh, he does not have a, a good view of that place. But um, what games I get him? Well... He had a bunch of stuff, and I could have gotten perfumes, this and that, but he just, he knows everything. He looks it up, and he's like, I'll give you a half price on this. And again, I, I'm looking for easy-to-sell stuff this weekend, uh, and so I'm not spending a lot of money on something because I know months, whatever, from now I can double my money. I just, I just picked the easy, easy, easy stuff for myself. What was easy? Well, I got these games. He says, oh, normally I charge 10 bucks a piece for the games like these at, at the flea market. Um, but for you, because he knows me, he said, I'll go five, and I'm like, fine. So he had other stuff. If you check the Scummy Resellers channel, I uh, filmed the box, and I walked around his place. He had nice stuff. He has art, all kinds of really good things. We also got some of the jewelry there. The better, Actually, the semi-better stuff, jewelry we got uh, today. But for five bucks a piece, uh, I passed up all consoles, handhelds, and stuff, because I just that stuff doesn't move. i got to get it cheap. Uh, it's a pain. It drags. But this is easy selling stuff. Oh, there's a bag. Just put this um, This is easy selling stuff for me. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Now, this may only be worth, worth like 8 to $12. If it's worth more than, say... If it's worth $12, I'm going to give it to my daughter. She can put it on eBay. I really don't care. you know. Or if it's only worth $10, I'm going to save it for a Game Boy Advance. And I'll put it in the Game Boy Advance. And that will make the game easier to sell and more valuable. Super Mario Brothers Wii, that's easily, you pay five bucks for that game. Uh, it should be worth 15 to 18 or something like that. I'll probably price it at 18. Uh, this Zelda, Twilight Princess. Now, somebody put 25 on it. I don't think that's right. I think this is more of a $15 game. Unless it's gone up in price, you know, that happens a lot. Like, for a while, it had surprised me how little the Wii Zelda game was going for. It was only going for, like... Um, I don't know, twelve to fourteen dollars. Hey, how are you? No music today, you know. But other stuff. Um, Mario Kart Wii. I know. I'm gonna put eighteen dollars on that, and I'll sell it for like fifteen or, or fourteen or whatever I can get. This could be the best game of the bunch. Okay, see, you later. see you later. I haven't had a Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai Tenkaichi in a bit. Uh, this case is all screwed, but I'll just put it in a better looking case. The cover art is beat up, but the disc looked actually nice and clean. So I have very high hopes for this working. You know, he, he actually says he tests his stuff, but I don't know if he would test stuff like this. I don't think he does, to be honest. Um, this could be worth, or it used to be worth like 25 to 35 or somewhere in that range. If I'm if I'm correct, it was the it's not the Budokai, it's the Tenkachi ones that were worth more. So hopefully it's it's either stayed the same in value and gone up. If that's worth anything more than like fifteen or twelve dollars, if it's worth more than say fifteen dollars, I'm just going to give it to my kid. She can put it on eBay and make the money off it. Uh, next, I'll do jewelry. Uh, we got some nice jewelry today, and then we got some good stuff and nonsense, right? You know, let me do the toys. That's nonsense. 
I'll just, people like toys. For four dollars, I got these Disney uh, Vietnam Star Wars, uh, sh I guess little shelf sitters, little uh, collectibles, whatever. And um, this must be from the new series of movies, obviously. Uh, no date on it. But, uh, let's see, 3PO, R2-D2, Chewbacca with a very hairy... Isn't it silly? It's like he's he's got a crossbow, but it shoots lasers. And look, the hair looks purple, so that's weird. It must be from a doll. Oh, you know, it's probably from... All right, whatever. And I got this guy. I'm not sure who he is. All right. Four dollars for all of this. So I got this. This should get me my four bucks back. You know, it's in decent condition. Owned by Andy. And then this, they had, like, if you buy anything, take one of these stuffies free. So I took this. If I get a dollar, whatever, you know. And I got a, a plushy My Little Pony, hopefully two to three dollars, and another plushy My Little Pony. So, okay, that's nonsense. Um, but since I just did plushies, get a load of this guy. Um, I don't know if anybody here is familiar with a particular doll company. This should go back to the 50s. And it was, it was Skookum. There's a Native American. This one's tall. This one's got to be... That's about 8 inches. This one's at least 16 inches. Maybe 17. Um, and as you can see, they made a little kind of felt blanket. And he had his little pants. And, and the shoes are really done well. And the facial features are good. And he had beaded jewelry in the shirt. And even the hair is really actually pretty good. Um, what do I think this is worth? I don't know, maybe a hundred, maybe more. I'm not really sure. I, I know if I took it to a flea market, if I couldn't get 50 bucks for it, uh, I wouldn't sell it. But I think at a, I think on eBay, because it's a large one, it could be, uh, I'm going to say, a hundred and up. And up. Up, right? A hundred and up is what I'm going to say for this guy. Um, the Skookum dolls always look like this. And like I said, this one's in pretty goddamn good condition. All right. I don't know if anybody's ever seen those. So you don't find them much anymore. Most people seem to know what they are. Uh, I'll say, I, I won't do the jewelry yet, so I'll do these hats. At a yard sale, these hats were a dollar a piece. I got 20 of them, and I basically got two styles. Actually, he gave me one for free. I got 21. He was like, I can, I can only go a dollar a piece. I can't go any lower. I'm like, yeah, fine. I don't care, right? They were originally $9.99. I checked these on eBay. Uh, I think the Tweety ones sell for 8 bucks. And the Taz ones sell for like 12 So I probably will just sit on these. Because it's like 20 bucks just sitting there. right? I, I might throw a couple of them on. Maybe I'll do like a Taz and a Tweety together and try and lot them for like 15 bucks, You know, just to try and get some of my money back right away. But otherwise, I'll probably I'll get to them when I get to them. I'm not really doing hats now. I'm doing perfume, stuff like that. Um, I'm saving the jewelry for last. These at the same yard sale, I got the hats. These were a dollar a piece. Emery wanted them. She thought they might be good for eBay. And they're like eight, eight to ten dollars a piece on eBay. So I could sell these at a flea market for four, three for ten. But she might want to try money because the other thing is I can try and sell them for four, three for ten, and then everybody could bust my cojones and be like, oh, I'll give you a dollar, and I'll be like, no, and then I'll get mad and I'll take them inside. But meanwhile, people will be like messing them up, and you know, so I don't know. I might lot them and put them on eBay. I haven't decided. I have so much stuff for eBay. I let, most times I just want stuff to sell at the flea markets. Um, check these napkins out. These are really cool. Uh, cool. These are like children's sets. Uh, some of, there's a, This is the one that's definitely a children's set. And this one says... Hump, this one's a Humpty Dumpty one. You guys leaving? Well, you're leaving there. You're coming to me, but then you're leaving to go to the place you're going to. You're coming to the place you're going to. To my job interview. That's right. Daisy's trying to get a better job. One that actually pays minimum wage. <laughs> uh, hey, diddle, diddle. I, basically, you get it, right? These are, these are like uh, nursery rhyme kind of series. And these are more children's ones. There's a kitten and stuff. I'm not going to unfold these, but you can see there's a really nice. Um, I didn't say it, but we spent $10 the whole box. And there, there's a bunch of assorted ones in there. Some with embroidery. 
That slapping noise you heard really snagged me on the neck. She gave me a nice slap. Hit a good slapping noise. Uh, I don't know if you're like. Psh. <laughs> uh, see, I'm showing these quickly. So ten dollars this whole box. You know, I think we can throw some of them on eBay. Like this is here's a set. You know, that's really kind of nice. They're all. They seem to just be floral, and they might all be the same one. And here's another one. And my daughter's name was Daisy, so there's some Daisy ones in there. So, there you go. I don't know. She'll probably put them on eBay. Because at the flea market, we just, we're not going to the right flea market for it. And I guess she wanted to mess with this stuff. Because I would, I normally just, I'm like, I can't deal with stuff like that because I have so much other stuff to go in front of it. Um, does anybody, well, this says right on it, it's a shaker box. But I kind of knew what that basket, I kind of know what shaker is. Uh, shakers, this kind of, and this looks like an old one, so it might actually have been made by the Shakers. Shakers are kind of like, um, they're a religious sect. Um, they're kind of like, say, the Amish. And I don't know if they were in Pennsylvania or whatever. I really don't know. I just, I know they make baskets. They're, they're famous for their baskets and stuff. And this, the handle uh, broke off. It was marked five. It was like, I'll take three. And like, ah, if it's three bucks, who cares? If it's an old one, it, it could be worth, like, really good money. Uh, but that's, the shakers always do this. You know, they always do that. And I don't know, like, if they use staples ever or whatever. Maybe it's from the 50s. Maybe it's from the 20s. You know, I just, I don't know this stuff. Let me see the bottom. It would be nice if it said on the tw on the bottom, like, made in by blah, blah, blah. So it's either a shaker or a shaker style. There's some kind of residue of a paper label there. I don't know if you can see it. I have no clue what it says. But that's the construction of it, you know. And, of course, like I said, this one, it has uh, condition problems. But, like, seriously, old shaker baskets and, and boxes and buckets are worth, like, like serious money. Hundred, zuh, zuh, up. Again, I don't really know much about it. I just kind of know that they could be worth a lot of money. And whatever I told you, that's pretty much all I know. Everything else I say from now on is is conjecture and stuff but if you see bands like that that's a shaker style and maybe if i'm lucky maybe i'll do like a handle basket there's like a house there maybe i can find something i'll just put label in my description so maybe the search won't be too bad this is just a slag enamel bowl it's really in good condition it's very pretty it was two dollars i bought that um, this could be yeah, maybe this could be the most valuable. Maybe the shaker. I, I'm sorry. Maybe maybe the shaker could be the most valuable. Maybe the scoop could be, could be the most valuable thing I, today. Maybe this could be. You know, but um, off the top of my head, if you ask me, what do you think you will sell this for? I would just automatically say between. I think it's personally. I think it's worth like 125 to 250 on eBay. And this is like clause and A. I believe they call this Champlev style. Yeah, I didn't see this. It has condition issues. Uh, which affects the price. You know, if it has condition issues like I just showed, where you see it, uh, let me just lean this here. This is enamel. Okay, it's a kind of glass. And you see there, it looks like some of it has, has uh, broken off and stuff. But all in all, it's it's very nice cosmetic condition. Even the top, look at, look at the, I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of like an embossed, not embossed, um, just a design in there. And it's definitely, in my opinion, from like the 30s or something. So anyway, before it had anything wrong with it, I would have said uh, maybe like 125 to 250 With the condition problem that I just showed, I'm not really sure. But you know what? I wouldn't take less than 50 for it, you know. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might save it for an antique show. Um, if I take it to the flea market, everybody will want to give me 20 to 35 and I'll be like, no, get out of here. Oh, guess what I paid for it? This many fingers and dollars. Only three. Um, all right, you know what? Jewelry time. Jewelry time. If you want to see me talk about jewelry, it's jewelry time. All right. <clears throat> what did we get today? Uh, I, th I think I'll just build momentum. Um, isn't this pretty? It's a no-name clamper bracelet spring action uh, it was a dollar this is something my wife's gonna sell at the flea market this is pretty and it's just kind of an agate stone necklace not old at all uh, but it was only a dollar someone will like this because it'll look good 
Uh, I'm not sure of the value of these, but these are glass and they're uh, like an amethyst in color. And if you notice, each strand or the string between each bead is is knotted. That takes extra work. Um, this is a very long necklace. Uh, 8, 16, 24, 30, it's probably like 64 inches. Um, the keywords for this particular necklace for us is going to be flapper length. Um, we think it goes from like the 1920s, 30s or something like that. But um, it, the really long ones were how they wore the jewelry back in the 20s and 30s and um, the flappers used to wear them. This was only $2. I got it at the same place. I had, that was $3. This was $10. Everything there was like really pretty cheap. So I walked out of there spending like, I don't know, 20 bucks or so. 10, 20, something like that. 20 bucks. And I, anybody that knows anything uh, would recognize this as just a really nice amber uh, chunk necklace. Uh, it's got some age. Three dollars. That's all I paid and I scooped that sucker up. I don't even know why it was there. Why it wasn't gone. Three dollars. Um, this is just going straight online. They, you know, even if it has to sit for, for a year or something like that, they will just, like make us go nuts at the flea market. Everybody will want it, nobody will want to pay. Online, I don't know, maybe 75, maybe 125. We'll have to see. Marie's, Marie'll, Marie will decide. All right, um, finishing up. We bought this at the same place I bought the games, and that's off of the locker guy. Uh, he was talking about like how they were stealing from him while we were there, and, and he has so much stuff. Uh, if you want to see what his place looked like. I just took my phone out and I was carrying around and I was kind of filming a little bit and uh, that was, well you'll see, you'll be able to tell. He's a clean out guy and he, I was in his warehouse kind of, uh, combination warehouse garage. It's big and he has a lot of stuff. So of course they're stealing, you know, people, any opportunity they'll get, they'll steal. And also we were talking about my, uh, my showcase, but um, if you don't know what these type of Murano beads are called, these are called wedding cake. Uh, glass beads and with wedding cake glass beads they always have a bead with kind of applied little spots of color and kind of a ziggy zaggy wavy uh, and gold bands uh, kind of like a venturing kind of bands and you can see here's some black ones and here's some that are a creamy color with uh, a similar uh, they're not white exactly they're more of a creamy color with the similar type of applied decoration these have the old barrel clasps and uh, they have like metal uh, segments. I don't know. You know, like it's it's not string. It, it's all metal uh, spacers or whatever. I don't know. Sometimes I, I know what something is, and I'll say it. Then two minutes later, I don't remember the word. But I, you can see there it is right there. Hoops and clasp. Um, what do I think these are worth? Uh, I think she's gonna probably get forty-five to sixty a piece for these. You know, she might sell them off at auction cheaper, trying to be reasonable, but I can't imagine us putting these in, in uh, the eBay store for less than 50 bucks a pop, right? And what did we pay for these? Well, we paid 15 for these two, and then we paid 15 for this one. And this one has matching earrings. So as you can see, again, it's wedding cake, um, and this one's a green color, right? And it has the same applied decoration and wavy bands and see like like that little pink swirl of glass and those little droplets and beads people don't do that anymore that's like special I as far as I I believe you can only do this kind of decoration by hand I don't I can't imagine there's a machine that pumps that stuff out um, so beads like this it's like marbles they're an art form um, to to a glass artist all right um, and again this one has like more metal in the middle, no string, whatever. The beads are secure. Uh, they're all in good condition. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beads to that. Um, what do I think we'll get for this set? I imagine between 75 and 90. You know, I don't really know. She'll price it out. Marie tries to be reasonable at uh, auction uh, and in the store because we want to sell. We're not, we're not greedy, greedy. You know, it's like. If we pay 15 and we get 75, that's great because 15 eBay fees, blah, blah, blah. We'll still come out like maybe 50 bucks at. Anyway, that's what I got. Um, shout outs. Shout outs to my friends. 
Uh, I'll do, you know what? A shout-out to my mom, uh, who I'll, I'll be visiting soon. My mom and Adam. Uh, and now I'll go Naz, Nostalgic, uh, ASAP, Zonk, that's AJ. A video gamer, Daryl. Um, keep him in your thoughts. He, uh, someone in his family is very sick right now. Um, my other YouTube channel, Scummy Resellers. Um, other people I know. Did I, did I do... You know what? I'm going to do Angry Steve. I'm going to do uh, Thrift Hunter. I'll do Chase After the Rice Price. I will do uh, Picking for Treasures with Sherman. Treasure Finder 28. Today I Remember Your Name. Uh, Living the Good Life. Uh, there's so many. Uh, there's a lot of channels I watch. You know, I don't, I'm not really naming the big ones. They don't need my shout out, so I'm not even going to waste time. So I think that's enough for now. Um, uh, we're covered. Like I said, if you want to see me this weekend, I will be at uh, Jubilee Park in Clifton on Sunday, as long as it doesn't rain. Other than that, um, I'll have more stuff tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I'll have some fresh pickings. Hoping I'll get something really good that's just like, yay, I don't have to work for a couple of days, you know. Uh, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to see where I went, uh, how many sales I went to, what I looked at, what I bought, what I didn't buy, here's some of the random conversations I had, go to the Scummy Resellers channel and uh, watch the video that I post later um, of, of what I found today. Okay, anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye.